The making of Garifuna drums is an art that is slowly dying in Belize. Mr. Baba Coleman is one of the few drum makers left in Belize. He uses his backyard in Hopkins Village in the Stan Creek District for his drum creations. Despite being an estimated 110 miles away from the old capital, Belize City, many locals and foreigners seek him out to purchase their drums. People from all the way from Europe looking for me to talk to me, not, even, not that they are going to buy drums, but they want to see the person who, who, who is making drums here at Hopkins. So it is something that I love. This is something that I love to do. I can stay here from morning to night making drums. I don't get tired. I love working here. And uh, drum has helped me since the closure of um, that port where we used to sell uh, ship uh, citrus from, mm -hmm. because that was my only job. And uh, since the closure of that place, I turn on to do this part. I do part-time farming, and uh, this is what gives me money. I used to grow citrus, but what I make here, I have to spend it on the citrus <laughs> farm. So I said, that's foolishness. <laughs> so I stopped growing citrus because the cost uh, to maintain a citrus farm is much more than what you are going to get off the farm. So I stopped growing citrus because I cannot pay you taking your family labor to go on the citrus farm and you cannot pay your family off the citrus farm. So I stopped doing that farming. So I do just part-time farming now. Go cut a mill, little mill pot plant, what I eat. Producing the drums may not give Baba Coleman a luxurious life, but it is a way of living. One that the younger generation has shown little interest in learning. Nobody wants to come and sit down and learn to make drums. You're the only one here in Hopkins who does this? Yeah, I'm the only drum maker in Hopkins. And you've been doing this for how many years? For over, almost 30 years now, or more. I start making drums when um, uh, Peace Corps began to come into Belize and they were, came to Hopkins for cultural nights and I used to have cultural nights, but I have to rent people drum. So I said, I must get an own drum. So I made the first pair of drum, my own drums, and it was perfect. So since that time I make drums and I sell drums. I cannot stay without drums. <laughs> like any other business, sometimes business is right, sometimes it's not. Uh, for the year, I'm supposed to sell about, um, say about 75 drums. You know, all sizes, but mostly small drums. Mostly 85% uh, small drums because uh, people uh, travel and they do not want to carry on them weight. So they buy a small drum and they are on their way. When we visited Coleman, we met a couple from Alaska who were there to purchase a drum of their own. I live in Oregon now, but I still carry on the traditions. And so when I came here, um, I knew that there was someone that, um, Hopkins, they have drums, and I was told that this is where they play drums. And um, I just, um, when you hear the drums, it brings spirits to you, if you listen to them and, you, you listen, and they come. And so, I, my destination, I ended up here, and I can't believe this. It's like, you know, just the Holy Spirit working again, and just um, get, get to meet him, and, and you guys are here. I can't answer that. It's just a miracle. <laughs> a small drum runs about $50 and takes about two hours to produce. 